Ever since I first used a computer, I've been using Windows, from Windows Vista all the way to Windows 11. But for one week, I decided to try Arch Linux, expecting that I would fully transition to Linux, but I actually ended up switching back to Windows, and here's why. I decided to try Linux in the first place, not just for the moral superiority that using Linux gives, but also Windows was just giving me like constant issues in the first place. Always updating without action, constant distractions, and also Microsoft adding more privacy invasive features with every update, and the general privacy concerns I was having in the first place with Windows. I decided to try Arch because of its rolling release nature, meaning that the OS would always be up to date in the first place, and also how much you could customize the OS in the first place, and also all the funny memes. I also had some prior experience with Linux in the first place from an internship I had a while back, so I knew what I was doing for the most part. So after reading through the Arch Wiki and mainly installing Arch like a true man I was, I was in. First, I decided to use Hyperland as my desktop environment, as I always want to try tiling Windows Manager in the first place, and Hyperland was just really easy to customize, so I loved it, because it would change the aesthetics and also the key bindings to exactly what I preferred. A great experience, after all. But my top bar actually went with Hyperland, because it comes with menus for like the Wi-Fi, volume, Bluetooth, you know, made it very easy to set those up. Hyperland also came with more essential tools like screenshotting, very nice, and I also used Wolfi for my app launcher, and Dunar as well for my file manager, and I used Librable for my browser, and also Console for my terminal for some reason, you know. Console, you know it's KDE, it works very well on Arch, I like it. I could yeah more about what I actually use on Arch, but now here's what I actually enjoyed from my Arch experience. Generally, the OS was more smooth and also more responsive compared to Windows, I felt, with less lag when opening Windows, and also everything just felt like snappier in the first place. Like I said earlier, I also enjoyed how much I could customize pretty much like everything and anything on the system, and it was really great, as I you know, I wasn't as restricted as on like Windows. I was pretty much able to, you know, fine tune everything to how I wanted. I just loved that experience. And theming apps was also pretty easy, you know, with GTK, you know, it had like a GTK manager, you know, like find a theme for all the apps. It was like very nice as well. Arch and Linux in general are also like a lot more privacy respecting compared to Windows in the first place, which much less telemetry and also invasive features. And Linux is also not trying to, you know, like shove ads in your face. Like Windows is trying to add ads in the friggin' like file manager, bro. Like this is actually insane. The truth is though, you read the title, you know, with all these Arch benefits, I actually switched back to Windows 11 in the first place. Because during my OS journey, I realized some you know some true things about myself first of all i just couldn't stand always having to use a terminal for something boo linux gotta use a terminal but you know it's kind of my fault because you know when i started using arch i started missing gui just because of how easier they made configuring things like i just like you know easy point and click like i just like that especially you know specific system settings because i got annoyed always having to type in commands and sometimes searching up on reddit how to do some niche that specific you know it started like pissing me off but once again that was more my fault with my my os choice i also kept facing issues with file management for example of every file manager I tried to use it would just not open a window click like an open folder button on like Prism Launcher or Steam, which just got like really frustrating in the first place, I can't lie. The freedom of absolute customization also comes with the freedom to, you know, easily like wreck your entire system. As when I was trying to get my Windows drive to actually like show up in Linux, I ended up crashing my system two times. I thought my laptop was actually screwed or something. So I ended up spending like an hour looking up on Reddit how to actually like fix this problem and that it kind of soured my experience a little bit using like Arch Linux in general. I also realized I wanted OS where I could customize it, but I could also just have it work working in the first place it just works like i just wanted that for example survive.io was like survive and i was like a copy it was like my favorite io game which is like a 2d battle royale it just kept on starting while trying to play on arch linux like on libre wolf but it ran absolutely perfectly on windows so i'd always end up like switching os just to play one browser game which as you can imagine got annoying very very quickly in the first place so as you can probably tell a lot of the reason i actually went back from you know arch linux to windows weren't necessarily like falls with arch itself but they're because Arch is just fundamentally different for how I truly wanted to use an operating system. And I also managed to use tools like Chris Tire Text, Windows Utility Tool, and also O and O Shut Up 10 Plus Plus. Disable a lot of like the privacy invasive features that you know maybe you want to switch to Arch in the first place. So now you've reached the end of this video, and the moral of the story is to do more research about switching to Linux in the first place. As I realized Arch isn't for me, but this doesn't mean I'm going to give up on Linux entirely. I might try like Fedora again, or maybe Pop OS, or maybe you know Ubuntu, which are a lot more user friendly, and I might use like you know GNOME or something or K. Not hyperlink. Or maybe for true productivity, I'll buy a MacBook and submit to the corporate overloads at Apple. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, peace out.